a series of interviews. I am a young adult, black woman, sitting in a chair. On my right leg is a prosthetic limb, and I am wearing a red romper with a black head wrap. My name is Carrie Gray. Carrie Gray is a black, disabled woman, and there's power behind that. Disability, to me, is about a connection to a community and a culture. My name is Rebecca Coakley. I am wearing a Prince purple dress because I'm a huge Prince fan. I am a second generation little person. Roughly one in five people in this country are a person with a disability or a person who will experience disability at some point in their life. There's not a community, there's not a demographic that is not touched by disability. My name is Sarah Minkara. I'm blind, I am a Muslim, and I'm a woman. There's one billion individuals in this world with disabilities. The majority of, of persons with disabilities are marginalized from the education sector, employment, health sector. My name is Jenna Kingi. I am a self-advocate from Kenya. I was born with this intellectual disability. We have equal rights like you. We have rights to marriage, to have inclusive work. My name is Ryan Easterly. I am a black man with a teal and white striped shirt wearing glasses. I identify personally as a black, gay person with disability who is a former foster kid. I consider disability one of the characteristics about myself, but it, it's not my entire identity. I am multifaceted, as we all are. My name is Alice Walsh. I'm an Asian American woman in a wheelchair, wearing a bright red lipstick. I'm wearing a mask attached to a tube that's used to help me breathe. A lot of people don't associate disability with diversity. They think absolutely should. I really think of disability as one of the wonderful variations in our cultures, in our society. My name is Robbie Belt. I'm a black woman with short curly hair, wearing a green shirt. We see disability all over the place, um, but often in ways that are somewhat negative. We don't often see people with disabilities speaking for themselves, and we don't really know um, the history of disability in this country. What I would like to see is uh, different types of representation across race, gender, and class, um, so that you see the full panoply of people with disabilities. My name is Maddie Rubelo. I'm a young white woman with brown curly hair wearing a bright green shirt. I am a disabled woman. Um, I have a chronic illness called POTS. Full access. Um, that's, that's the dream, right? Um, that everybody can move through the world um, and not face barriers. Full accessibility means talking to people, designing processes and programs in a way that people are included from the start. Understanding that the legal requirements are just a minimum. My name is Dessa Cosma. I am a white, disabled woman. I'm a little person who often uses a wheelchair. Everything that's, that's wrong with our society was a set of choices, and the beautiful thing about that is that we can make different choices. So there's this huge opportunity to rebuild our world uh, in a way that actually works for people, and not just a few people. Previous interviewees Sarah Mankara and Alice Wong speak consecutively. So everyone needs to be involved in changing the narrative. People with disabilities are people with potential, people that can contribute, key people that bring value. It's part of a larger conversation that all of us as a society has about who we are, where we're going, who we want to be, and our movement toward ultimately social justice. Where are you in your journey to inclusion? For more information, go to disabilityphilanthropy.org and promote using the hashtag disabilityinclusion. Brought to you by the President's Council on Disability Inclusion in Philanthropy. Text on screen of the production credits. For a full credit list, please review the transcript file.